This is Claudia Alves. I'm going to show you how to change the layout or the views in SEL Title Studio and also how Studio Windows work. So this is helpful if you have multiple monitors like I do. I have a 13 inch laptop and also I have a 43 inch monitor. So the space that I get in both screens are very, very different. So right now you are looking at the layout that I usually use on my monitor. And it looks wonky because I'm using my laptop right now. So there's a lot of windows that don't have any space on this setup. So I can easily save my profile views just so I can switch back and forth between the laptop view and the monitor view. So this is under user profiles in Studio. User profiles and user are not the same thing. So I'm going to talk about user profiles. And a user profile can store not, not just layouts, or not just views, but also things like uh, options and shortcuts, things like that. But I'm just going to focus on the views. So since I'm using my laptop, I'm going to start by closing windows. And I'm going to resize the columns. You might have the ribbon. You might have the ribbon um, expanded, and usually you just go to the little arrow button that you have, minimize the ribbon, things like that. So I'm okay with this. Well, actually, no. I'm going to remove one more window. So this would be the layout that I would use with my laptop if I'm working just on my laptop. And I want to save this. How do I do this? I go to File, Setup, and then Manage User Profiles. I have users here, and these users are a completely different thing. So it's user Manage User Profiles. So I will. I want to change. No, actually, I want to export the user. I want to export the user settings. Click on Next, and I'm going to choose a location. And I have a folder that is all, only for my user profiles. And I'm going to give it a name, uh, laptop, test view, laptop. The name is not important. I'm going to add a name here. And I usually use the same name for the file, for the name and the profile information, and also for the SDL profile file. Click on finish, and that's it. This profile now is saved on the folder that you want. So in my case, it's user profiles. I have a studio folder and then user profiles. So I'm going to switch to my previous profile so you can see how this works. And it's user profiles. So right now I want to import my another profile, the profile that I had at the very beginning. So I would go to change. Change could also be um, import or retrieve or load. It's this, it would be the same thing. It would mean the same thing. And I don't like the backup option. So I click on next and I can find it uh, under profile or I can just go to the location. I usually do this just because, just because I'm going to go yes and then finish. And this might take a few seconds, especially if you have multiple applications working at the same time, there might be some delay. And usually you can just do this. This is faster than just opening and changing windows and so right this is the layout that I had at the very beginning when I started this video so again I'm gonna go to file this would look much better in the on the large monitor so I'm gonna go to setup manage user profiles change again do not back up let's see if I have it here so right now because I just created a test for laptop view. 
I have it here under profile. If you don't have it here, or if you have a user profile that you created a while ago, you can just browse it. Finish. And it's gonna load the layout that I just created. Also, this is really helpful if you use something like Dragon Naturally Speaking or any other um, speech to text software because you can also change the shortcuts and other options that will work better in a different setup. So that's it. I also will um, talk about how Windows and Studio work. So Windows work the same as a browser, like a browser like Chrome would work. I'm gonna show you the browser. So this is Chrome and I have one tab with my website and I'm gonna open another profile. So I'm just gonna go to Google. So right now I have a single window and multiple tabs. I can't see multiple tabs at the same time unless I open a new window or I can just drag this tab to the side. So I'm using the shortcut windows plus um, the arrow. So now I can see both windows at the same time. And sometimes you want to do that because I don't know, whatever reason you want. Um, window and I'm sorry, studio works the same way. You have multiple windows that you can see at the same time. And within each window, uh, within each window, you have multiple tabs. So translation results, fragment matches, that's another tab. Comments, TQA messages are all tabs. So I'm going to go to view because I just did this morning. I showed this to a client of mine. So I have concordance search and the way I have it is I use concordance a lot. So I like to have it separately. I like to see my translation results and my concordance results at the same time. Usually the concordance window is on the same window as translation results. So you can't see both tabs at the same time because I just told you why. So what I wanna do is I will drag my concordance search tab in the same way I dragged the, uh, the Chrome tab. So I would just right, I'm sorry, left click on the tab where it says concordance search. And I'll just, without letting go of the button, I'll just move it, just move the mouse a little bit until I see that um, blue uh, figure that I have in the middle of the screen. And this is, it just tells me, or it allows me to move my windows quickly. So I would just put it on the bottom um, button. And now I'm letting go of, of the mouse button. And now my concordance search has been placed and locked on the bottom side of the screen. And I can see my results here. So right now, you, so you can see, I have my results from my translation memory. I already, I already translated segment number two. And on segment number three, let's say I want to find out how, how I translated photo printer. This is just an example. I would just select it and press F3. And now I have my concordance search results on the bottom side of the screen. Now I can see both. Usually um, you can also have these results done uh, automatically or the, the, you can run the search automatically. And in order to do that, you go to File, Options, Editor, and then you find Concordance Search Window, and you would click on Perform Search if the TM lookup returns no results. 
And the concordance search will run not just for the section that I just highlighted, but it would run for the entire segment. So you might not get translation results unless the, the match is very, is very high. And that's it.